Hello everyone. Welcome to UIAS. Let's discuss today's prelims topics. Question 1 with reference to the National Investigation Agency, NIA, consider the following statements. 1. It is a central agency established by the Indian government to combat terror in India. 2. The agency is empowered to deal with terror-related crimes across states with special permission from the states. 3. The agency came into existence with the enactment of the National Investigation Agency Act 2003 by the Parliament of India on 31st December 2003 which was passed after the deadly 09-11 terror attack on the World Trade Center. Which of the following given above is our correct? A. 1 and 2 only. B. 3 only. C. 1, 2 and 3. D. 2 and 3 only. The answer is A. The agency is empowered to deal with terror-related crimes across states without special permission from the states. The agency came into existence with the enactment of the National Investigation Agency Act 2008 by the Parliament of India on 31st December 2008, which was passed after the deadly 26 11th terror attack in Mumbai. Question to consider the following statements about voice samples in investigations. 1. An investigating agency generally moves court, seeking permission to collect a person's voice sample in connection with a case, and such forensic analysis is used to corroborate other aspects of the case. 2. The frequency of a person's voice remains the same for several years unless there is a medical condition in the voice code or track. 3. The spectrographic method for speaker recognition makes use of an instrument that converts the speech signal into a visual display. Which of the following given above is our correct? A. 1 and 2 only. B. 3 only. C. 1, 2 and 3. D. 2 and 3 only. The answer is C. The US Federal Bureau of Investigation FBI had first used the technique of voice identification analysis, also known as spectrographic at the time, as early as in the 1950s but the procedure gained legitimacy in a 1962 study by Lawrence Kirsta, a researcher working with a 1940s model Bell Laboratory sound spectrograph. Question 3 with reference to Digital Health Summit 2023 consider the following statements. 1. The event was organized by the Center for Science and Environment, CSE, and co-brand with the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare in Goa. 2. The theme of the event was building one health together improving health equity with the objective of bringing together policymakers, industry leaders, and global healthcare experts and thought leaders to deliberate upon key issues confronting the digital health space. Which of the following given above is our correct? A. 1 only. B. 2 only. C. Both 1 and 2. D. Neither 1 nor 2. Answer is B. The event was organized by the Confederate of Indian Industry, CII, and co-branded with the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare at Goa. Question 4 with reference to recently launched Animal Pandemic Preparedness Initiatives and World Bank funded Animal Health System Support for One Health, ESO, consider the following statements. 1. This would enhance India's preparedness and response to potential animal pandemics in line with the One Health approach. To this initiative will help to improve veterinary services and infrastructure, disease surveillance capabilities, early detection and response, build the capacity of animal health professionals and awareness among farmers through community outreach. 3. SO aims at creating an ecosystem for a better animal health management system using the One Health approach covering 505 5, states in India. Which of the following given above is our correct? A. 1 and 2 only. 
B. 1 and 3 only C. 1, 2 and 3 D. 2 only The answer is C. The Department of Animal Husbandry and Dairying, Dahad, Government of India is committed to the successful implementation of the Animal Pandemic Preparedness Initiative and the World Bank funded Animal Health System support for One Health and looks forward to working with all stakeholders towards this important goal. Question 5 consider the following statements. One climate and energy ministers and envoys from group of 7 G7 countries are recently committed to working towards ensuring carbon free electricity production by 2050 and accelerating the phase out of coal to at the United Nations Conference of Parties COP meeting in Glasgow in 2021 India objected to language in the agreement to phase out and pushed instead for a phase down of coal three climate and energy ministers and envoys from group of 7 G7 countries recently agreed to accelerate solar and wind energy investments to produce 1000 gigawatts GW by 2030 from solar power and 150 gigawatts of wind power from offshore platforms which of the following given above is are correct a 1 and 2 only b 1 and 3 only C 1 2 and 3 D 2 and 3 only Answer is D Climate and energy ministers and envoys from the group of 7 G7 countries are recently committed to working towards ensuring carbon free electricity production by 2035 and accelerating the phase out of coal A proposal to have a 2030 deadline for phasing out coal was shot down and the final text gives leeway for continued investment in gas on the grounds that it could be a stopgap against energy shortfalls at the cop meeting in sharm el sheikh last year india pushed for a proposal to phase out all fossil fuel sources including coal and gas india and china are significantly dependent on coal for electricity whereas several developed countries including the united states japan canada and europe are reliant on gas reserves the latter however didn't find mentioned in the final text of the sharm el sheikh agreement question 6 with reference to mangrove pitta birds consider the following statements one they are listed under the endangered species category two it is found in a few pockets of eastern india including odisha's bhitarknika and west bengal's sundarbans three first ever census conducted of these exotic and colorful birds in the country to study the population analysis of these birds which of the following given above is are correct a two only b one and three only c one two and three d two and three only The answer is D. These birds are yet to be conferred the endangered category. Question 7 with reference to blastomycosis consider the following statements. One also known as Gilchrist's disease, blastomycosis is an infection caused by a bacteria called blastomyces. To although blastomycosis is especially dangerous for those with weak immune systems, Most people diagnosed with blastomycosis have healthy immune systems. 3 it is found in the soil and decaying organic matter like wood or leaves. Which of the following given above is are correct? A 1 and 2 only. B 3 only. C 1 2 and 3. D 2 and 3 only. The answer is D. Also known as Gilchrist's disease, blastomycosis is an infection caused by a fungus called blastomyces. Blastomycosis, also known as Gilchrist's disease, is a fungal infection typically of the lungs which can spread to the brain, stomach, intestine and skin where it appears as crusting purplish warty plaques with a roundish bumpy edge and central depression. There is no vaccine 
but the risk of the disease can be reduced by not disturbing the soil. Blastomycosis is endemic to the eastern United States and Canada, especially the Ohio and Mississippi River Valleys, the Great Lakes, and the St. Lawrence River Valley. Question 8. Consider the following statements about compressed biogas, CBG. 1. Compressed biogas can be produced from various biomass waste sources, including agricultural residue, municipal solid waste, sugarcane press mud, distillery spent wash, cattle dung, and sewage treatment plant waste. 2. The biogas is purified to remove hydrogen sulfide, H2S, carbon dioxide, CO2, and water vapor and is compressed as compressed biogas, CBG, which has a methane, CH4, content of more than 90%. 3. CBG has calorific value and other properties similar to CNG and hence can be utilized as green renewable automotive fuel. Which of the following given above is are correct? A. 1 and 2 only. B. 1 and 3 only. C. 1, 2 and 3. D. 2 and 3 only. The answer is C. The other waste streams, I.E. Rotten potatoes from cold storages, rotten vegetables, dairy plants, chicken poultry litter, food waste, horticulture waste, forestry residues, and treated organic waste from industrial effluent treatment plants, ETPs, can be used to generate biogas. Biomass sources like agricultural residue, cattle dung, sugarcane press mud, municipal solid waste, sewage treatment plant waste, etc. produce biogas through the process of aerobic decomposition. Aerobic means with air and refers to the body producing energy with the use of oxygen. This typically involves any exercise that lasts longer than 2 minutes in duration. Continuous steady state exercise is performed aerobically. Anaerobic means without air and refers to the body producing energy without oxygen. This is typically an exercise that is performed at a higher intensity. Thank you everyone. Do subscribe to this channel. Use code SPLIVE to join an academy.